And the hunt continues. Day, God, what are we on now? Is this like four or five? I don't know. I haven't slept most of this trip, so I've lost complete and utter track of time and what day it is. We're far along here in this Africa journey, and we still have not caught the GGT. For those of you guys who don't know, a GGT is a giant, giant Truvali. I feel like every single day the conditions keep getting better. Oh, hey, dog. I feel like every single day the conditions keep getting better and better and uh, we're not yielding like a really bang up GT sesh. Like I, I know there's fish out there and I know they're eating and I know the spots are fishing are productive because there's GT forage in the area, but we're not getting any big G results. Fish. Suck. There oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Gone. Done. No, no, it's still, it's still. Yeah. It's still, it's still, it's still. Yeah. What broke? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> that was insane. Hooked up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Got him? <sighs> <sighs> Look at that. That's what's up. So I'm eating everything, it was crazy. Thank you. Oh, and he's dead. Dinner, that's, that's dinner. Here we go. This is a weird looking GT, a little bit long. Oh God, watch the teeth, yeah. This is a narrow barred Cuda. It's in the mackerel family, right? Yeah. Yeah, this guy's insane. Not as heavy as a fighter as a GT, but lots of big, long pulls and runs. I don't know what was going on there. I think I opened my bail on accident and I thought I lost a fish. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're now gonna safely revive this fish. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this right here is gonna be dinner. That's why she took a few blows to the head. We're gonna put it out of its misery as fast as possible. Nice. Kuta. Put it in the water. Put it in the water? <laughs> or put it in the <laughs> box? Yeah. yeah. Put it in the water. I don't know what the <laughs> frick I'm saying. Thank you, Kuta. Nice. I'm absolutely covered in fish butt right now. I got my butt kicked by that Cuda. Don't know what to say. I wasn't ready for that. Honestly, prefer the fight of a GT. It's just straight pull, straight dogging. That fish right there tricks you. You think you have it in and then it takes one long run. It makes you look like a goo, but that was funny. You live and you learn, I guess. Well, what you're watching right now is the case of GT Blues. My finger is raw to hell. I'm taking a quick five. Rob's still committed to the popper back there. I just need some fish in my life to get the get the blood flowing. I'm not gonna do this all day. I just wanted to try a little bit of it. And then we'll go back to the popper. Hooked oh, up! Fish. Yeah, better fish. Better fish. I pull, he pulls. Maybe it's a she. Golden. A small one, but I haven't caught a big one. Golden, two oh, goldens. Also a golden, a double. double. That's my foot. You hold the rod. Woo! Double. Double. That's insane. Neil and I just doubled up on golden trevally. That's badass, man. Woo, gorgeous. Double golden release. Nice job. Wow, what are the chances? Awesome, yeah, right. Nice job. You wouldn't think a fish that big would fight that hard, but kind of cool to catch them back to back like that. Pretty uncommon out here to catch two golden trevallis at a time. That's like catching, I don't know, 
What's a good comparison to that? I really can't think of anything as far as fresh water goes, but it's pretty sick. Hey, welcome to the family. Rob's joining the dark side. We really should be popping right now, just the record. Oh, hooked up. He said the GT bites off. I know, but still, we're gonna jig. Rob and I are jigging. Oh, double. Jump fish. This right here, this is a job fish. This is what we've been eating this entire time. They're like super easy to catch. Don't fight super hard, but they're tasty. And we're gonna put them in the dead well. Meat locker sauce. Wow, that's quite some carnage down there. Okay. Here we go. Bottom? Yeah. That's what's up. This is a, a good rock fish. Oh, he broke off, big fish. Giant, so big, he just snapped my line. It's the worst, I hate when that happens. God. Caught out the whole Indian Ocean bottom floor is what I caught today. Just the bottom of the coral reef. <clears throat> you know guys, I, I really love GTs, but I also really hate GTs. Pretty frustrated right now. Don't know what these motions are. I'm feeling really mixed feelings, uh, depression, um, relaxation. Well, we're gonna keep jigging because at least that's that's good action. I can I can live with that. Oh! Oh, on the on the drop! Do you see that? It was crazy. I got hit on the drop. Oh, I'm up. Oh, what the? Oh, be a yellow! I haven't caught a yellow spot yet. That's not a job fish. Job fish? No. Whoa. What's going on there? What's going on there? Dog them. Dog them. Get him. That's a good fish. Big smallmouth. Big smallmouth. Get in there. Get in there. Oh my God! Why didn't you grab it? Oh. Oh, golden. Got a golden trevally. Hey, Golden! Hey, Golden! Alright, we got him. You got him? Yeah, I got him. He didn't want me to touch his fish. Oh, I'm hooked up! Oh, God, I'm up! <laughs> Every God, time he done. starts the boat, it's up. Golden! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you can get these down in Florida. Yo, let's see if we can get a double. Uh, a double? Oh, I don't know how long this is going to take. Oh, that be a jobby. That's a jobby. Yeah, it's a jobby. Oh, no! Uh -huh. No, Golden! Golden! Double. What the hell? It's a Golden! It's a double rainbow! There we go! Dude, this is perfect. <laughs> golden! Oh my god. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh. Golden fat and sassy. Go. Fat and sassy. Golden, baby. Yeah. Woo. That was our, uh, I think maybe like third or fourth drift. I don't know but very successful. We're catching these rare golden trevallis like it's nothing. I swear to God, we, we actually don't know what we're doing here. This is pretty insane. Well, of course, Charlie knows what he's doing, but Rob and I don't. It's pretty sweet though. These are awesome fish. Love the goldens. It's like my second favorite to the GTs. Jigging got boring really fast. As you can see, we're back to our old GT ways here. GT morale is pretty low in this boat, at least for Rob and I only because, well, to be truthful, we haven't seen much GT action. We've been getting a lot of shark action, getting a decent amount of kingfish action. Um, we've caught a bunch of other little trevallis, but not the trevally we're after. So, we're back to throwing the 18,000 size spinning reel with the big stick baits and poppers. It's right around 3 p.m. We're back on a spot that I believe we got some bites on yesterday. This is where I caught mine. Well, it looks like a good spot. We were here yesterday, I'm pretty sure. Um, or the day before, or the day before that, I forget. Anyway, long story short, jigging rods down, popping rods back up. All right. Let's make it happen. Hope I catch a job fish. What the f is on my foot? Oh, nothing, just some yeah. used tissue. Oh, it's a GT! What? That was a GT! What? 100% that Where? was a GT. Where? I saw that come out of the Was water. he showing you oh, how to- Oh, he's right there! Yeah, yeah. He's right there, he's right there, he's right there, look! Oh my god, he was just showing me how to do it. Oh, he's on him! I got him, I got him, I got him! I got him! Got him! Yeah. Oh, I got him. 
He took it. It's fighting. No. No. Damn it, dude. I just, I was just talking to the camera. I literally was just talking to the camera, put new batteries in the mic, pick up the rod, GT was on. That was a GT. As I've said, in past Africa videos. This is what defeat looks like. I, uh, I'm gonna be truthful with you guys. It's no longer day five. It's, matter of fact, day six. I felt so discouraged and tired last night after getting off the water that I went straight from the boat to this bed and I fell asleep and I actually, this sounds crazy, but I don't even remember falling asleep last night. I'm never one to try to get too like, uh, over the top, like morbid and sad about a situation, but I can say it's it's a pretty frustrating feeling getting one chance after fishing for three days straight for GT and then just messing that chance up. I feel like I definitely could have caught that fish. I don't know, my rod position is all messed up. It, it just like wasn't a good situation in general. I guess that's what makes it fun. Like if these fish were easy to catch and if you could catch them every single cast, then why would anyone want to spend so much time targeting them? Maybe that sounds naive. I don't know. But do you get what I'm saying? Like the fact that these fish are, you know, are difficult to catch in our challenge is what adds to the experience. It would be sick if they would just open their freaking mouths and bite our poppers a little bit more than they have already. And we're literally averaging one bite per day. Sorry, two days ago, we didn't even get a bite from a GT. So it's like, what the hell, you know? But whatever. Um, anyway, just wanted to say good morning, guys. It is day five, sorry, day six. Frick, day six? Oh my God, I think it's day six. Um, I, I finally got a good night's sleep last night. I slept for more than two hours. And I'm not kidding when I say I've been sleeping for just around two hours every single night, if even, here in Africa. And this was my first night where I've gotten like nine hours sleep. I passed the frick out last night, but I woke up at 5.30 this morning and I'm ready to rock. See you guys out in the water.